Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank our witnesses, and I, I just want to just start off also by just um, apologizing to our witnesses, in particular Mr. Roth, for just the homophobic rant and comments that were recently just made uh, from the gentle lady from Georgia. That was really shameful. And I know that we're here to talk about serious issues, and we're having conversations about Grindr and, uh, and other issues, which is not really what this hearing is about. So apologize to, our, uh, to our, all of our witnesses. I um, want to note that I am someone that you would probably call a Twitter super user. I use a social platform constantly. I communicate regularly. It's how I get my news. It's of how I find out what's happening in popular culture. And I admire what Jack Dorsey, Evan Williams, and Christopher Stone actually tried to build as a company. Uh, I wish I could say the same for what the platform is today. I think to me and to many other users, we've seen the site currently degraded. We've seen Mr. Musk more interested in attacking journalists and uplifting conspiracy theories and actually running a company. And I think we can all agree that just overall, sir, the service has substantially degraded. I think just an example is the forced for you page mess that I personally don't like and I think most folks don't as well. But I want to know more seriously that Mr. Musk and the current team has also done uh, damage as far as trust and safety on the platform. He's gutted the trust and safety teams that have been described as eliminated uh, content management systems and the human rights team, which, is, as we know, has, has uh, ceased to operate. I do want to just take a minute to thank Mr. Roth and particularly Ms. Navaroli and your teams. I know that you are trying your best. Uh, I want to thank all of the folks that worked at Twitter because they believed in its mission, a mission I'm not sure holds true today completely, but it's one that I know a lot of folks worked on. And so just thank you for that work. And mistakes were made, and clearly you have actually lived up to those mistakes and, uh, and the issues that have existed. But I especially want to thank you for your work around the pandemic. Uh, the pandemic took over a million American lives, 1,300 in my own city back home, and your decisions in content moderation actually saved countless lives in this country, including the work you did by moderating or banning members even of this committee who peddled in lies and were actively causing death and harm to others. And so for that work on content moderation, I want to thank you. And I want to go back to something that Mr. Roth said uh, briefly. You, you had mentioned earlier in, in this hearing that you thought that currently there is still systemic elect election interference and interference happening. How serious do you think the current threat from Russia and other countries is to current election interference? I think we can look to the evidence from the midterms to know that these campaigns are ongoing and they are serious. And it's not just Russia, Iran, and China, though they are the big players. There's now a playbook for how election interference works. And it's unfortunately all too cheap and all too easy for countries to try to carry this out. Thank you. And I think so. I think it's pretty clear what we've learned today. One thing we've learned, which hasn't been much, by the way, is that there's current election interference happening today by Russia and other actors. And so that is something that's serious. That's the, which the focus of this hearing should actually be about um, versus all of this kind of nonsense and, and, and lies and conspiracy theories um, that this committee is actually focused on today. I want to take the, the, the remaining balance of my time and yield to Ms. Ocasio-Cortez.